started out as an idea uh, with Dr. Kim Wesley and uh, a few students. Uh, she seen me at my, my barber shop and she told me that I would be a perfect fit. And since I've been coming here, I've seen people graduate. I've seen guys uh, form bonds and, you know, it, it has become a very big brotherhood, um, as most students would say. I come from, you know, a background college as well. I graduated from Northern Illinois University. So, you know, uh, we hosted somewhat similar events to this on campus, but this by far, by me being a barber and actually being able to mentor the, the youth, it, it's been very rewarding on both ends. It was Kim Weatherly's idea, who's Director of Multicultural Affairs and African American Affairs, and me and Derek Streeter, when she asked for volunteers to head the barbershop up, we looked at each other and, and Derek said, you want to do it? And I said, yes. I mean, the concept, the way it works is we meet monthly, we have two barbers come in, we have dinner, and it's the school pays for that so the brothers can leave out with a nice fresh cut and a full stomach, and they also get soul food as well, a spiritual type of food from the, the building, the conversations, and we also uh, are, we're a support system. So if they need a tutor, we can help to find them a tutor. If they, they need someone just, just to talk to about tough times in college, we're here, we're here for them. First impressions, I think is like really, really good that they have this type of program in, in college. Like I didn't know it was a program that did with like barbershop and everything. So like, I feel like it's pretty good and, and it keeps like people like me active to go what it, if it's having stuff like that, talks like that and everything. For, for a lot of African American men in college, you think, oh, they're in college, it's, it's great. But what I saw, because I've been teaching here for a while, is that a lot of them don't, still don't feel completely comfortable. And it's maybe because they don't have a lot of people that look like them in their, in their school. And they come from a high school where it's predominantly black, a lot of them, and they come here, and they may be the only black person in their classroom, the only black man in their classroom. So this is a place where they can actually take a deep breath and can be themselves without the fear of being judged or the fear of being feared. It's a gathering of black men, not just from Columbia College, Chicago, but around the loop from colleges like Robert Morris and Roosevelt. And basically, it's really just a dialogue. It's a conversation between black men who are living in times where the black man is being systematically destroyed. And so basically when we come here, it's a chance to really just let all that go and really connect with the other brothers that you know and that are around you and really just find ways to make it in this life that doesn't really want you to make it. And so it's really, it's a great dialogue. It's a conversation. I've had people come to me who have graduated, who've come back, or have said this is a huge turning point for them, or this is something that, I've heard men actually say this is the first organization I've been a part of at Columbia that doesn't feel like an organization. It just feels like a brotherhood, because that's what it is.